Hey guys, welcome back. I'm popping in again for another Olight giveaway, review, and sale promotion. You know what? The last month went so well. There was so much engagement, so many people involved, and so much so much interest and positive feedback on it that I thought, let's do this again. And maybe we make it a monthly thing going forward. We'll see how it goes. But we're definitely doing it again this month. And you know what? I've got a lot of old Olight gear to give away. Not necessarily old, sometimes new, but good stuff that you guys are going to want to have. And it's more stuff than I can use, frankly, because they keep kind of sending me promotional stuff. Thank you, Olight, by the way. So we're going to be giving some of it away to you, and that's going to be the goal with these videos. Of course, we're also going to highlight some products each time we do that and promote the sale so that you guys know what's going on and what you can buy. By the way, let's touch on the sale. It is happening this July 10th at 8 p.m. and going until July 14th at 11.59 uh, p.m. And that's all EDT. So go check out the sale. You can check it out via the link down in the description right now. All right, uh, have I told you how to enter this, enter for these things yet? No, I haven't. This is the Warrior X, a special edition that they no longer sell. It's in this sort of a teal green. Can't tell quite what it looks like on camera uh, or for you, but it is kind of a teal green, very summery. So very appropriate for this giveaway, I think. And that comes with a pouch here that the light will go in. It also comes with this sort of replacement ring. So if you don't want to use this one, you can put on this sort of rubberized one. That's one of the accessories comes with it. It also comes with this little springy kind of a, a switch. Turns on like that. So you can mount this to Picatinny, maybe on a shotgun or something that kind of stretches like that. Or, or whatever, but it'll come with this. This is maybe a mismatch, but it works with it. It's kind of olive green, but again, it works with it, switches it on and off. And that's gonna be a, a powerful, you know, excellent flashlight for one of you guys with that amazing sort of sharp crenellation on the, on the, on the head there. And also that really deep reflector for a massive, uh, long, long throw. This is an excellent flashlight, guys. One of you guys are going to really be stoked to have that. By the way, both prizes go to one person. There's not going to be multiple winners. And then this right here is the copper, the solid copper O-Pen 2. Very also special edition. I don't believe they carry this anymore. We'll have sold out by now. But it has a rechargeable flashlight right there, USB-C. You recharge it there, and then you've got a little flashlight which I will charge up before I send to you. <laughs> it has died, but I will recharge that before I send it to you. But it does work, trust me on that. And then you've got also the, the bolt action pen right there for daily use. A Little bit of patina on it, which only makes it cooler. And that will be going to one of you guys. Like I said, the prizes go to one person and the way to win these two things is first, rock that like button, subscribe if you never have, share this video somewhere with somebody, and lastly, comment down below why you love the United States of America. Yeah, I know there's things to complain about, but it's July, it's like patriotic month in my opinion, so you tell me why, say something positive, something uplifting, something that'll make me happy, and make you happy, and make you think in a positive way something that you love about the United States of America. Frankly, I would not have trouble coming up with a zillion things, but there you go. That's your entry, comment it down below and one of you will win that giveaway package. Moving on, let's talk about, let's talk about the sale stuff first and then we'll focus on these keychain lights after that. The sale stuff. One of the coolest things right here, in my opinion, is the O-Lantern Mini, is that what they're calling it? I think they call it the O Lantern Classic Mini, and it is rechargeable by way of USB-C right there. And you switch it on on the top right there. It's got a clip. Okay, so you can run that a number of ways. Hang that from a tree branch, hang it from your canopy at your campsite, whatever. Hang it from the inside of your tent. Now check this out. I want you guys to get a load of this. Look at that beautiful amber glow. That totally reminds me of the old gas-powered Coleman lanterns that we all had as kids or that my family had as, when I was a kid. 
gets nice and bright with that amber, and then it switches to like a bright white and goes even brighter. So you can, you can have sort of the bright white light if you want that, or you can scale it back and it turns into that soft amber glow. <sighs> I love that, love that look. Now that's not all. I mean, that's basically what it does. But as far as use, obviously you can clip it, you can hang it in a number of ways, but also you can mount it to like any kind of a tripod-y thing. And then you can set this on your, your table, your, your uh, picnic table. You can set it, you know, on like a big stand or something and then have it like illuminating a, a big area. You can do all kinds of things with this guy. And so Olight has really sort of thought it through and made something that's gonna be insanely useful for all types of camping trips and, and occasions. And man, I love that thing. Link down below once again uh, to learn more about that. What else? The Balder S. The Balder S Weapon Light. These are fantastic, and I'm gonna compare it real quick to the standard Balder Mini. All right, you can see there's a size difference there. Slight size difference. The Balder S a bit longer than the Balder Mini. They're gonna be very comparable in sort of the amount of space they take up and uh, the weight and so forth. But that's an example of the two of them compared next to each other. The Balder S, what makes this special? What it does? I mean, you've got, you've got your light, your very bright light. Um, again, specs on the website. But then you've got a switch here on the back, which goes to laser, so you can have a laser instead of a light. But that's not all. You can switch it to the middle and you can have a light and a laser at the same time. See that? There's a laser right there in the middle. But that's not all. In addition to all those three, those three things, the cool thing about the Baller S, I didn't, didn't mention that it's rechargeable. It is rechargeable, comes with all the recharging. And also, the other cool thing about it is that you can mount it to a wide variety of handguns via that sliding latch, which is awesome. Uh, but in addition to that, here it is switched on, watch this. Goes even brighter. Yeah, man. So you can have a really nice, bright, weapon light, or if it works better for you for your for preserving your night vision and being a little more alert and able to deal with threats or whatever, you drop it down to a lower setting. Whatever works for you. I love that it gives you that option, and that's why, in my opinion, Balder S is like a fantastic weapon light. And again, prices are on the website. Check them out down below. That's going to be a sweet one. What else? Perrin 2. This is the Perrin 2 Mini, and of course, this is the one that I've showed you in a previous video that not only gives you light, okay, at multiple levels, but also if you want to preserve your night vision for hunting, fishing, things like that, you just double click it to turn it on, and you get a red light. Right, that is so sweet, man. You can see what you're doing, take the fish off the hook, you know, put some new bait on the hook, etc., without destroying your night vision and uh, you know you know wrecking your situation so that's going to be super useful parent 2 mini also of course comes with the headlamp um, mount thingy and so you drop it in there and then you just sort of like clip it in like that with a little rubber latch headband man you're ready to rock parent 2 mini also part of the sale Again, details on the website, link below. Lastly, Warrior Mini 3. And this is a new addition as well. It's a good EDC light. It's got some tactical applications. It has the uh, switch on the rear for you to press and you know have momentary on. Again, I'm just sort of doing a momentary right there. Or a, you know, uh, a quick press and you've got full, you know, you've got a, a steady burn. But then I believe it has two levels here. So you press and then press harder, it goes brighter. So you can do the deep press and then you can have that stay on or you can do the light press and have that stay on or you can do the uh, momentary for either one. For either one, it's just your touch, how you touch it. We, do you press hard or do you press lightly? Do you press and you, as a click or do you press and hold? And so that's how it reacts and that's how that whole thing works. But then you've also got the uh, the side switch with all your multi modes, with your 
uh, your your strobe, etc. All the good stuff that you're used to for an EDC light. So the combination of tactical and EDC is what makes this kind of like basically an ideal EDC light for concealed carriers, possibly cops, things like that, security, whatever. And this is, let's just show it to you as a, uh, as a comparison. It's sort of like the evolution of the whole Warrior Mini line. So there's the original Warrior Mini right there. And that's the, the tail cap that it has. Then there's the uh, Warrior Mini 2, which grew somehow. I don't know, they fed it some Wheaties and it grew. And uh, also same tail cap on that one and kind of a bigger head on it and some other cool features. Oh, this also has the, the, the feature, I think, where you, where you, let's see. Yeah, you turn it on and then if you put it on your hand like that, it, it goes lower because of that little sensor. If I remember right, yeah. See, there's a little sensor right there that kind of forces the light to go down so that you're not burning things that it's in close proximity to and uh, and whatnot. This, I don't know if they got rid of that sensor or not because I don't see it on there. Oh, you know what? It does seem to have it because it drops. It drops. So it's got that sensor in there somewhere, but it's kind of invisible now. Yeah, I can't. No, they did something to hide it, but it's still in there, which is cool. So they still got that proximity sensor. But they've hidden it. It's not obviously there. It's in there somewhere, but I can't see it. And they also dropped the uh, the size of it back down closer to the original Warrior Mini. Not exactly the same, but very, very close to the original Warrior Mini. So, smaller, simpler, but really just more streamlined. And the tail cap is totally different. It's very, very flat. Still magnetic, but very flat. So that's the big upgrade or the big change with the Warrior Mini 3, and I like it a lot. And I carried this recently for a big family outing. We went to a thing called Stadium of Fire. Carried this with me to sort of uh, identify ourselves in traffic because we had to walk a mile through the streets to get to and from the stadium. And, uh, and also just to sort of like identify family members in the crowd. Massive, massive, massive crowd of people walking to and from that event. So, so it was useful to have a flashlight to sort of stand out, uh, be safe, and identify family members and things. And uh, having a good-sized, uh, powerful flashlight was certainly useful in that situation. All right, so that's... These, those are the sale items. Don't forget also this brass O-Pen Mini. That is sweet, solid brass that's gonna patina up very sweetly. They fit great in pocket. The brass is gonna be a very special kind of cool one that's gonna just stand out as you show it off with your friends and use it in meetings and stuff like that. Let's get all this off the table right now and talk about a handful of these really great keychain lights, which are also part of the sale. But keychain lights, in my opinion, are some of the most useful lights uh, you can own. In fact, there have been other events that my wife and I have gone to uh, on dates and stuff like that where I know that I'm just not going to be able to bring a full-size flashlight into the show with me, into the event with me. And so I opt for a keychain flashlight. I kind of pare down and plan my EDC and I bring a keychain flashlight instead of something, you know, a little more full size to whatever it is. Just makes sense at different times. And so that's why you got to have some kind of a keychain light in your system or in your in your options of EDC gear. It's really not necessarily in my opinion the light that you ought to carry all the time. It can be. I like to carry something that's full size and full featured. But if you decide to opt for just a, a keychain light, these are some of those options. And of course, again, you ought to have something, you ought to have some sort of a keychain light as just an option. And by the way, during this flash sale, one more touch on it. Uh, you're going to get either this or that for free just for showing up to the website logging in and paying for shipping or they'll throw it in your in your order with whatever else you want to buy they'll just they'll give you this or that and it depends on i believe it depends on if you're a new customer or a returning customer but yeah so what we have here is the very simple and very neat i3e eos 
and there's nothing to it at all. All you got to do is twist this on, right? And there's your light. And that's all it is, is as simple as a keychain light can get. That's it. That's it, man. You just twist on, twist off. And they've had this light in their, um, in their inventory, in their collection for a long time. Here's one other version of it. There are dozens of other colors and patterns. I've got one that's a UV version. Um, and again, all it is, is a, is a single AAA battery. That's all it is. A single AAA battery. Throw in some lithiums there, have them last forever. Uh, and you're set, man. And so if you want to keep things as simple as they can possibly be, probably the i3e EOS is the way to go for your keychain flashlight because you're always going to be able to find AAA batteries. Um, you don't really have to think about, oh, it's dying, and so I forgot to recharge it. No, you don't have to think about that stuff. All you got to do is keep a spare battery somewhere, and you've always got juice in your flashlight. So great option. Let's talk about the Pinwheel Orange IR2 Pro. Now, this is an upgrade from the standard IR2. Here it is in purple, also limited edition. I don't think you can get it anymore. IR2 Pro, or sorry, the IR I1R. Oh my gosh, there's a one in there. I1R. I knew there was one in there. I1R2 EOS. And that one is uh, mini USB rechargeable. And I think, believe it goes, it's two modes from five lumens. Let's turn it on here. 5 lumen to, I think, 150 lumen. 5 to 150, and it's that uh, USB mini rechargeable. Whereas the new Pro actually goes from 5 to 180, if I remember right. There's your 5, and there's your 180. I think that's correct. I think I have those numbers right. But not only that, it recharges by way of USB-C, which is going to be bl blistering fast, really, really quick to recharge this guy. Uh, not that it's a big battery or take a long time in the, in the standard version, but this is even faster. So that's what you get here. And this is the sort of uh, limited edition pinwheel orange, which is really cool looking. It's gonna look great on your keychain or on some additional keychain or in your drawer in your collection of keychain lights. So consider that one. Actually, you know, consider picking it up if you don't get it for free but you probably will. So uh, yeah, so there's that. Next is probably the most unique keychain light I've ever seen Olight do. This is the iMini 2. All right, this is really cool because what you've got is a form factor that seems to stick in one, but it actually comes apart. Let's set this aside for a second, but we'll come back to it. What we've got here on the end, and this is rechargeable. How do you recharge it? You just stick that in your USB port. No joke, that is how you do it. You recharge it by sticking that in your USB port and that recharges the whole thing. So that's that's it, man, that's the whole deal. And then of course it came with that little keychain clip. So that little USB port with the rubber cover over it acts as a great little clip on anchor for that little clip, which is gonna then clip to your key ring and make this a little articulating thing which kind of flops around and hangs off your keys, and is very, very useful. How do you switch it on? That's the crazy part. You pull it off. I'm not kidding. You pull it off, and that's how you switch it on. What? Yes, you pull it off, and then you use it like this, and that's how you use the light. You don't have to pull it all the way off. You can also do this. In your hand, just pull forward. Pull forward, and you get a little, it's, you know, it's bouncing back and forth, and it kind of does a blink, but if you pull forward just a little bit, you've got a light. A momentary on light, which may be all you need. But then if you need to kind of detach it from your keychain, use it elsewhere, you just carry it around like that. Hold it in your fingertips. But that's not all, man. It's also magnetic there on the base. So you can stick it to things. Stick it to things and illuminate your area. Isn't that cool? That's a wild keychain flashlight, man. Wild. This one in OD green. Price on it, again, will be on the website. The uh, brightness is, I believe, 50 lumens, which is fantastic for just a little simple illumination as you're making your way to your car or as you're trying to find a little something underneath your seat. That's a great little keychain flashlight. Is it the best option? Could be. Depends on what you want. 
Uh, as I mentioned before, these two are free gifts during the sale, depending on whether you're a new customer or an old existing customer. I think the existing customers get this one. I believe that's right. And new customers get this one. But uh, this guy is also worth picking up. It's, uh, it's unique, it's fun, and it does some cool things. And that is the sale, that is the review, that is the giveaway. Make sure to leave your comment down below. I said earlier what that comment should be. And remember, you will win, one person will win the Warrior X, as well as the Open Mini, or not the Open Mini, the Open 2 in solid copper with a beautiful patina put on it by yours truly. How do you win, or excuse me, when will you win those things? When does the giveaway end? Well, we're going to go a little longer on this one, so we're probably going to send it out to like about the 16th, and that's when I'm going to shut it down and choose a winner. So we're going to let it go a while, but yeah, hopefully we get lots of engagement. Hopefully you guys, uh, one of you guys will definitely win that, and hopefully you guys take advantage of the flash sale because there's some sweet stuff there. Um, great prices on a lot of things and just excellent things to pick up. But that's it for this month. I'm the late Boy Scout. I'll check in with you again soon enough. And until then, peace out. Bye, y'all.